There are 16 teams in the FCS playoffs, including four top seeds. The playoffs will begin this Saturday, and you'll be able to see many of these games, including every semifinal and the championship game, December 18th, all on the ESPN family of networks. First round match, of course, between Appalachian State and South Carolina State is being televised next Saturday on ESPNU at noon Eastern. All right, the number one seed in the FCS playoffs, Montana. They're the only team in these playoffs that come in unbeaten as they are 11-0 this season out of the big sky. They lost in the finals last season to Richmond, a team they could meet in this year's semifinals. Take a look at the top half of the bracket in the football championship subdivision playoffs. Montana will play South Dakota State. While defending champ Richmond will play Elon. We're going to talk to Coach London in just a few moments. You can see the Appalachian State, South Carolina State game, as I mentioned, on ESPNU. The time will be 12 Eastern on Saturday. The number two seed in the FCS playoffs, the Villanova Wildcats. Villanova, 10-1 and this season, including winning the CAA North Division. Their only loss this season was to New Hampshire, a team that could face each other in the second round. That's Bodes worth watching. A look at the bottom half of the bracket showing the two seed Villanova opening with Holy Cross of the Patriot League. The other seeded team in this half of the bracket is the three seed Southern Illinois, which won the Missouri Valley Conference. They will open the playoffs against Eastern Illinois. And as promised, joining us now here on ESPN News, the coach of Richmond, Mike London. Richmond, of course, the defending champion. All right, coach. Uh, what is it going to take to repeat? Well, I don't know. A lot of a lot of good luck, a lot of healthy bodies, and uh, you know, a lot of good players. So uh, we're, we're excited about the opportunity to uh, to go to the playoffs once again and try to defend our title. You know, the win over William and Mary was something special. It's your first ten win season in school history. Give me a couple of keys of why the success. Well, I think that uh, he, he was, we've got veteran leadership. We have uh, playmakers that have, have, have experience in playing in big games. And uh, we just got a, a team that just uh, you know loves each other and, and wants to play hard for each other. So I think when you've got add some passion together, some good luck, and, uh, and some energy, you know, those things work. So we're happy about uh, these opportunities that are afforded us and look forward to representing the university community. You know, you guys will play Elon in that first round. Kind of evaluate what you expect from that matchup. Well, I know we played them last year. Uh, they were a very good team. Uh, Coach Limbo does a great job with his squad. So uh, I know they're very talented in a lot of areas. And at this point of the year, you know, that's the way it should be. You should be playing the best of what's out there. And, uh, you know, so glad we got a home game and have a chance to, uh, you know, to play in front of our crowd, our home crowd again once again. You know, being the defending champ, as you know, Coach London, other teams are just out to get you big time. What do you tell your team in the locker room about that? What's the message? Well, you know, the message is, you know, you got we have to play our best game, too. I mean, uh, everybody, you know, likes to play number one and like to play, uh, you know, play you hard and tough. But uh, you have to do the same thing. And I think if we play our best ball, then uh, we're as good as anybody that's out there. So now we have a chance to uh, prove it, and as all the other teams that are in the playoffs. So... Uh, you know, here, here we go. It's starting up again, and uh, we've got a game this Saturday to get ready for. Congratulations again on your first 10-win regular season in school history, but I know there is a bigger mission to accomplish. Thank you, Coach Mike London. Thank you, Linda. Thanks for having me. John McCutcheon, NCAA FCS committee chair, is available today for a live chat between 4 and 4.30 Eastern. All you have to do is log on to NCAA.com.